hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will talk about fault tolerance and fault tolerance systems this is from basics of system design the prerequisite before watching this video is to watch my video on faults and failures and if you are proceeding further then i'll assume that you already know about what are faults and how does it lead to failures i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in now let's see some of the fault and failure conditions along with solution let's assume that your hard disk can crash at any time or your ram can crash or it can happen to a server and once this happens then the service accessing those hard disk or ram will actually become inaccessible and therefore those kind of services may be down like there can be a service uh, known as my cart in amazon and uh, if you if a user is asking to my cart about what all items have been added to my cart and uh, there is a hard disk which is storing all the items uh, present in my cart and if this hard disk is suddenly down uh, then the user will not be able to see what is present in their cart isn't it because of the data being inaccessible therefore this my cart service will be down due to the hard disk crash okay so what happened in this case was the fault was the hard disk crash but the failure was not able to serve the my cart service not able to serve the user about what all items were added to their cart so this was the failure so fault has led to a failure now the solution could have been if you had maintained replica so that if this is down then maybe at some other place within the same data center or even maybe geographically separated this my cart will actually uh, get the item from the replica and then uh, generally when you make multiple copies of the same data it will be extremely unlikely that all the replicas are down therefore the my cart service will still be up even though your hard disk crash has happened so in this case the fault is not leading to the failure of a service okay so this is how we can avoid a failure in the face of a fault right now if you look at another example there can be a power blackout so in a data center if we are uh, maintaining a data center you have a power source let's say uh, from the concerned state where you are present and uh, there can be some private player as well and uh, you can have power backup right so there can be multiple sources but let's assume that if you are just maintaining a single source and that source is actually lost uh, then it will actually shut down all your devices and all the services which were running on the data center will come to a complete halt in order to avoid this kind of failure we have to use multiple power source now if we use multiple power source like the state power private power and then a power backup as well then even if the state power is down still we can use the private power and uh, like we will increase our chances that even if a fault happen that a power blackout of one of these happens still we will be able to serve i mean the devices will not be shut down and our services will be up so in this case again fault is not leading to failure we cannot 100% guarantee this because all of these power sources can be down at once but it is extremely rare that this will happen okay so we are just increasing redundancy in order to avoid failure whenever the fault happens so these were some of the things related to the hardware fault if we talk about some software fault condition which always happens in industry like whenever you are coding generally you get a bug in your code and uh, your service comes down or it responses in a unexpected way so system can become unresponsive or can give faulty answers as well so a bug in the code actually leads to a service not working as per expectation which leads to service failure and some solutions for it can be you write proper test cases so that if you get a bug in the code you catch the bug immediately without anyone noticing and without the failure actually happening and and if a failure has happened you can just roll back to the previous consistent state when you know that the system was working perfectly fine you can roll back to that time stamp so this is how you can also avoid software failures and uh, some kind of human failures can also happen generally in data centers or even if you have employees who are uh, working with network cables and generally uh, like uh, if they 
connect a cable to a wrong port then a network partition may get created it can break your network connection altogether right so this can lead to failure of multiple services which depends on them and uh, solutions for this can also be like you can provide proper training or uh, you can also provide readable guide maybe the employees are not able to understand what you have written in the guide so this is how you can avoid uh, failures due to human errors now having seen all these condition it will help us actually understand about fault tolerance so the fault tolerance is the ability of a system to survive when a fault occurs so basically it is saying that if a fault happens and uh, it doesn't lead to failure of the service then those kind of systems will be much more fault tolerant let's say that uh, five times faults occurred and uh, your service was down only one time then four times uh, your faults did not lead to failure so this will be highly fault tolerant now some system where five time faults occurred and it led to like four time failure of the service those will be very low fault tolerant right so it is again some kind of comparative term if all the faults never lead to failure like five faults happened and none of them converted to failure it will be extremely highly uh, you can say fault tolerant okay so fault tolerance is the ability of a system to survive when a fault occurs therefore it means that the fault should not lead to failure temporary drop in the system performance is acceptable but the service must always be running now let's assume a scenario let's say that you have multiple servers running uh, in your locality and uh, it is streaming to let's say 10000 users now all of these are almost running at their limit and let's assume that if one of the server comes down now what happens is we were doing 1080p streaming and if one of the servers is coming down and all of them were almost at their limit then you can say that approximately one third of the users will be cut off if everyone had equal power that is what i am assuming so either you don't serve one of uh, one third of the users that means approximately 3k users will be totally cut off from the streaming and still serve 7k users with 1080p streaming or if you are provided with an option of serve all the 10k users but don't do 1080p streaming but do 720p streaming okay so now in this case we have degraded from 1080p streaming to 720p streaming so that these two servers can take care of all the 10k users so this is pretty much acceptable because everyone is getting to see the stream but there is nobody who is not able to stream right so the service is available but the quality may not be the best so performance is impacted due to the fault of a server but then this fault did not lead to failure okay so such kind of systems where the service still works can be said to be much more fault tolerant isn't it now the system should also self detect the faults and do failovers so i hope this gave you a comparative idea about uh, what do we mean by fault tolerance and uh, what do you mean by highly fault tolerant and uh, and some system which is not fault tolerant at all you can just put it on a scale and uh, you will get to know about it so in short i will say if a fault doesn't lead to failure those kind of systems are highly fault tolerant okay i hope this video was helpful please like our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this system design content see you guys in the next video thank you